The Gift of God's Love Our scripture today is from Matthew chapter 26, verses 26 through 29. The occasion for this particular message is World Communion Sunday, the day when Christians around the world join together to celebrate the sacrament of Holy Communion. I invite you to hear these words. While they were eating, Jesus took a loaf of bread, and after blessing it, he broke it, gave it to the, to the disciples and said, Take, eat, this is my body. Then he took a cup, and after giving thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink from it, all of you, for this is my blood of the new covenant, which is poured out for many for the forgiveness of sins. I tell you, I will never again drink of the fruit of the vine until that day when I drink it new with you in my Father's kingdom. Well, as I mentioned earlier, today's message is in connection with World Communion Sunday, the day when Christians around the world celebrate the sacrament of Holy Communion, the day when Christians around the world remember that Jesus is the gift of God's love spoken in every language. Today, we remember how Jesus was the gift of God's love as he took bread, blessed it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, this is my body. Today, we remember how Jesus was the gift of God's love as he took a cup, and then he gave, he blessed the cup, and then gave it to his disciples and said, drink from it, all of you, for this is my blood of the new covenant which is poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. I tell you, I will never again drink this fruit of the vine until that day when I drink it new with you in my Father's kingdom. Today is World Communion Sunday, the day when Christians around the world gather to, at the Lord's table to remember the gift of God's love spoken through Jesus in every language. Will Willimon tells of a time when he was teaching about communion in a Sunday school class. And in the midst of the, his talk, he asked the people in the class, what was one of the most memorable meals they'd ever had? As members of the class told of memorable meals. One was in a fancy French restaurant. One was at a five-star five restaurant in New York. There was one man who said, the best meal I ever had was in World War II, the morning after a fight, after a night of terrible battle. I staggered up on a hill and saw a woman from the Red Cross in a little trailer in a muddy field. I staggered through the muck as I made it to her trailer. She was holding out a stale donut and a cup of cold coffee. When she handed those to me, she smiled. Well, after the night I had suffered, at that time, I'd have to say that was about the best meal I've ever had. Why was that such a memorable meal? Perhaps because it was a gift, unexpected. A cup of cold coffee and a cold donut, memorable because of how it was shared, memorable because it was a gift of grace unexpected. And reflecting on this memorable meal, Willimon states that Jesus is the gift of God's love to the world, unexpected. Although it was a time of warfare and destruction. It was also a time in which the presence of someone caring made a difference. Jesus is the difference, the unexpected gift of God's love, the one who took bread and blessed it and broke it, gave it to his disciples saying, this is my body. The one who had a last meal with his disciples as he prepared for the cross, and as he took the cup and said, 
forgiveness and offer forgiveness. Jesus is the gift of God's love, spoken in every language. One of the churches I served had a wintertime ministry of one week during the winter of providing shelter for the homeless in the city in which it was located. Part of the hospitality requirement of a church was to provide a hot supper and then breakfast the next morning and a bag lunch for those who were homeless. Well, after the hot meal for supper was shared, and before the persons retired to the cots in the social hall, there was an invitation extended. And the invitation was to be a part of evening vespers as we would gather for prayer and sharing. There were about 30 people who came into the sanctuary that evening. And as we talked, I asked if there were any prayer concerns or if anybody would like to share. And almost everyone shared as they talked about the realities they were facing in their lives. The language I heard that evening was not a language like French or English or Spanish, but it was the language of brokenness that's, st that's spoken in every language. What I heard was the language of brokenness spoken by people who didn't have a house or a apartment in which to reside. A people who encountered the language of brokenness as they mourned the neglected possibilities of life. People whose lives were defined by the lack of hope. Following a time of prayer, the sacrament of Holy Communion was served as we gathered at the communion rail to hear the voice of Jesus saying, take, eat, this is my body. This is, my, this is the blood of, new, of the covenant. During the years that have followed that sacramental time, that holy time in which I heard the language of brokenness being answered by the language of love in Jesus, I've grown to understand that the gift of God's love spoken to Jesus spoken by Jesus to people is in every language, certainly the languages of the world, but also the language of humanity. On this World Communion Sunday, people around the world will gather to remember that Jesus is the gift of God's love. They will gather in the common language of human brokenness and the after effects of storms such as Hurricane Helene and the realities of ongoing conflict and war between Ukraine and Russia. In the brokenness of life as missiles are exchanged and explode and lives are lost. In the Metro Lynch Lynchburg area, as we are alarmed and saddened by the brokenness of life as people choose take other lives. One well, of the years that have followed that evening when we had shared communion and remember the language of Jesus, the language of God's love spoken, I have grown to understand that when Jesus took the bread and blessed it and gave it, he was speaking about the broken realities of life. And I've grown to understand that it is in our brokenness where God speaks the language of love in every language, the language of Jesus. Today is World Communion Sunday, the day when the Christians, when Christians around the world will gather to hear the language, to hear the message of Jesus in the language of God's love. May God bless you as you live in that love, even in the brokenness of life. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Spirit, let us pray. God, we ask for your grace and your mercy. We thank you for Holy Communion and the gift of bread and wine. 
And we pray that as we receive this gift, that we might become part of your message of love to the world. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Dear friends, may the love of God that is eternal greet you this day in Jesus and in the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mm -hmm.